hi guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new without further ado let's go ahead and get straight into today's video so for today i'm super excited because we are finally going to be doing the moss garden nails i've had this nail set saved for like a month and a half because i actually got requested by one of you guys in the comments to do the snail set and for a long time i was like yeah i'm definitely gonna do them but i honestly didn't know what i was doing i didn't know what i would need for it so yeah i finally have all of that today and speaking of you guys like sending me nail sets i do have some nail sets coming up that i am very excited to like do because you guys requested it and i don't want to like just say like i'm open to requests and not do them but it does take time to kind of like prepare for everything so yeah definitely stay tuned for those other than that let's go ahead and get straight into today's nail set so here's what my nails are looking like and i did groom them just a tiny bit in my last video but they do need a little bit of help especially around my cuticle area so the first thing i'm going to do is just push back my cuticles Next, I'm going to use this cuticle bit just to work this around my cuticle area. And while I'm doing this, I'm making sure that the drill bit is nice and parallel to my nail plate. Because once you start to tilt the file upwards, you start filing into the layers of the nail, which causes dents and rings of fire in your nails. And overall, that just affects the health of your natural nails. Next, I'm going to be going in with my cuticle nippers just to get rid of that excess dead skin. Okay, and that's pretty much all that I'm gonna do to like groom my nails. The next thing I'm gonna do is apply my matte peel off base coat. And to create my matte peel off base coat, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of cuticle oil and some matte top coat. So normally I use the smallest amount. So I like basically squeeze all of this out of the tube and I place the smallest drop on top of my nails. Now this is way too much. So I'm just going to like swipe this off and whatever is left on the nails is what I'm going to use and like rub into like my cuticle area and stuff like that. And I say this pretty much every time I show you guys this step, I like to rub this in pretty much really like into my skin. Like I don't really put too much of this on my nails because the matte top coat pretty much does all of the work for you. So as you can see, it doesn't really look like I did much. It's just a very thin veil of oil on top of my nails. Next, I'm gonna go in with two layers of my matte top coat. Now there are people who like to use a regular top coat for this step, but every time that I've tried it, like my nails literally won't come off at all even when I do use more cuticle oil. So I like to just use matte top coat because it doesn't stick to the nail plate as easily. And whatever top coat you use for your peel off base coat, whether it be matte top coat or regular top coat, only use it for this step. And I would recommend getting a, another top coat for the nail art process because there is like probably a lot of oil and dust and debris inside of this one. And you don't wanna transfer that on top of your nail art once you like move on to that step, you know? So yeah, definitely get a separate one for this step.
All right, so my nails are fully prepped and I did go ahead and size out all of my nail tips for today. And to cure on these nail tips, I'm gonna be using a little bit of base coat. Okay, the tips are on and the next thing I want to do is just start to cut them down a little bit. Now we're going to go kind of long today, so I'm only going to go to the length of my pinky, just cutting off the number basically. Okay, and now I'm just going to shape them up very slightly using my 80 80 grit nail file. So the nails are pretty much shaped up at this point and because we are going to be doing some poly gel nails i am going to go over this with a layer of base coat Okay, so the nails are fully prepped and we are finally ready to move on to the poly gel application. Okay, so we are on to the poly gel application and for today I am using a Siesta from McCart. And for anyone who may not know this, I am definitely not a huge fan of using poly gel. I am definitely an acrylic girl, like I will ride for acrylic okay but poly gel is just like not my favorite and you guys are probably gonna like claw me for this but the reason i don't really like using poly gel is i don't like the smell like i don't know it just smells weird to me especially when you're filing it like it just has this really like odd burnt smell and i just don't really enjoy it so i don't really use it that often and i know that probably sounds like really weird coming from me because i literally use acrylic most of the time and monomer is very strong but like for me personally like it's almost nostalgic because i've been smelling monomer since i was a kid and i used to like go to the nail salon with my mom and just like watch and see how she would get her nails done and i was always like so intrigued with it so like now it's kind of just like a comforting thing i don't know but anyways that wasn't really the point i just wanted to point out that i will like try and start using more poly gel in my videos instead of just being super like acrylic based so yeah if you would be more interested in seeing more poly gel videos definitely do let me know down in the comments i also wanted to very quickly mention something about my last few videos if you haven't watched them so if you don't know my last few videos like my last three videos i believe have all been like product reviews and i just wanted to mention that i probably won't be doing product reviews for a good while because i just don't find them to be super like reliable for most people especially if the brand is sending it to me for free and i have a code and i like stand firm in the fact that like i've always been honest about how i feel about the products because i don't use anything on my channel that i don't like or that i haven't heard good things about but just for the sake of transparency and being like 100% honest with you guys I honestly don't think that I want to do like product reviews from brands that send me stuff for free like if I do a product review it will be like something that I purchased with my own money now I haven't necessarily like heard any like negative comments or people talking about me doing product reviews but it's definitely something that like i've been thinking about and i'm like yeah i don't know if i want to do that anymore because it's not always easy to be transparent and honest because one thing about like product reviews and stuff is of course like they're not all sponsored but from the viewer's standpoint it's kind of like a little bit weird to constantly be seeing these reviews on people's channel like every single upload and it can become a little bit stressful for them because it's like, do I wanna actually like use this code and like possibly put money in their pocket if they're not even being honest? When like most of the time they're being honest, but it's just like, it doesn't make it like believable because there's a code, like, I don't know. It's just, it's very interesting. And like, I just don't wanna contribute to the culture of like 
influencers being dishonest even if i feel like i myself am being honest i don't know definitely let me know how you guys feel about that like i will still do reviews it just won't be one where like i have a code for it i don't know if that makes sense to you guys like it's kind of the same thing but not really the same thing i don't know so yeah um, I'm kind of like going off on a tangent, but I do just want to say like this does not minimize any of the product reviews that I've ever done on my channel, even the ones that I like have coats for. Like all the ones on my channel are completely honest. I would not like use anything on myself that I would not recommend to somebody else. So yeah, it doesn't minimize anything that I've done in the past, but I do just want to be a little bit more like I want to do them on my own accord and feel better about doing them like in spending my own money if that makes sense so yeah i just wanted to let you guys know that's what i'm thinking of doing so if you guys have any like specific products or brands that you want me to try let me know because i'm kind of like interested in doing that and like giving you a walkthrough of how things work and yeah just let me know but anyways i don't think that i had anything else that i wanted to talk about during this section so i will just let you guys watch the rest of this poly gel application and we'll be back to shape and file these nails Okay, so I am back after like an hour, like literally an hour, but all of the poly gel is applied and now I'm gonna go ahead and start shaping and filing these nails. And as you can see, I did go ahead and already wipe off the sticky layer, so we are good to go. Now, as always, the first thing I'm gonna do is just file the sidewalls and undersides of my nails using my 80 degree nail file.
And now I'm going to just seal my cuticles using this ceramic bit here. The reason I am using a ceramic bit is because I am working with polygel, so I don't need something that is like super coarse. And ceramic just works a little bit better with softer products. At least that's in my opinion. Don't come for me in the comments, okay? This is just in my opinion. And now I'm gonna go back in with my 8080 grit nail file just to completely file the surface of my nails. Okay, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and shape up the free edge. Now I'm gonna go back in with my ceramic bit just to go under the undersides and make it just a little bit more thin. And lastly, I'm just going to buff out my nails using my mini buffer.
All right, so my nails are completely shaped and filed. And before we go ahead and get into the nail art, I'm going to wash my hands very quickly and I'll come right back. Okay, so my hands are finally washed and we are ready to jump into this nail art. And to be honest, I have a lot of stuff. So let me go ahead and get everything. Brace yourself, cause it's a lot, okay? It's a lot. Okay, so let's go through all of this. So firstly, this is the start of the show. I have some moss I'm gonna be using and I hope that this is the right moss. Um, Yeah, we're gonna hope that this is the right moss. Next, I just have a green gel paint and this is just some top coat. So let's get this out of the way. So all of these are add-ons and a lot of it I'm probably not gonna use, but I want it to be safe. So the first thing I have are these little iridescent flowers and if I can find these on Amazon, I will, but I did get these off sheen. So cross fingers, I can find something similar to this for you guys. Next, I have these little gold butterflies and I also have these more like colorful butterflies and I've been meaning to get my hands on these for a very long time. So I'm kind of excited I finally have them. I also have some more like larger butterflies as well as like some bows and other like nail charms in here. Of course, I've got some little colorful flowers and then I actually have like these shiny like pearly looking flowers and again I also got these off sheen so I will try and find something similar to this on Amazon. I have these little colorful beads and lastly I have some more butterflies. Okay so that is everything. Let's go ahead and finally like get into today's nail art. As always I'm just going to start off by wiping my nails down with some alcohol just to remove any excess oils. Okay so I have my mixing plate here and the first thing I'm going to do is paint on a French tip using this green gel paint. And you guys, like if you have been here from the beginning, you guys know that I used to use these all the time. Like I used to be obsessed with these and hopefully there's like actually some in here left. Yeah, I don't think this is enough. So let me see if I can find another green. Okay, do I not have another green? Like, hello, like, hello. Okay, so I found this green and hopefully there's enough in here. So yeah, I'm actually just going to mix this with this lighter green because this is a little bit too dark and my moss is like, sort of like mid-tone green it kind of looks like the top of this okay so actually change of plans there's actually a good bit in here i don't know why i thought there wasn't much in here um so we're just going to use this one okay so the first thing i'm going to do is paint out a french tip and i'm first going to just saturate my brush make sure i get it on nice and even now to be honest i'm probably going to do these pretty deep because i don't want like too much moss in this nail set mainly because i fear that i'm definitely going to do too much like it can become too much too quickly All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for about 30 seconds.
All right, so I have all of the French tips painted on and the next step is to actually glue on the moss. Let me get this moss and I believe it's the right kind. Now, I think the best thing for me to do is to kind of work on top of this to avoid any mess. And I think I'm also going to like break up the pieces so that it's easier to apply because I do want to keep most of the moss in the center so that my nails don't get too wide. So yeah, I'm going to try my best to like break this up. Okay, so I forgot to mention you are going to need some rhinestone glue for this so that you can actually attach it and like it actually like stays on. So the first thing I'm gonna do is of course open the tube. So I'm actually going to put the moss on the entire nail and I'm gonna put all of my add-ons on top of it. And I'm just gonna focus this rhinestone glue mostly in the center of the nail because that's where I want the moss to go. All right, I think that looks good. And <laughs> now I'm just gonna like place it on top i'm nervous i don't know why i'm nervous but i'm nervous and i'm like trying to avoid the pieces that have like these really big stems because i don't want it to like poke out too much This is like really difficult because it's almost like trying to glue pieces of broccoli onto your nails. Um. Anyway, I'm going to like try and get these placed as best as I can and I'm going to cure this and I'm probably gonna have to like trim around the edges to make it look a little bit like less crazy because this looks a mess. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this and we'll fix everything afterwards. Okay, so it's cured and I'm just gonna take some cuticle nippers to kind of like trim the sides down as best as I can and I will report back with what I have. Okay, I think this is better. I might have to like go back in with a few like pieces to make it look better let me try and do that and i'll come back okay i think that looks a little bit better like kind of so the next thing i'm gonna do is start gluing on some of these add-ons all right so this is pretty much everything and i'm gonna kind of like experiment and see what i want to put on like each nail i think for this nail i definitely want to have like more butterflies like more of these than anything because these are supposed to be like the star of the show so let me see i think i want to do i think i'm gonna do this little brown one that one's cute and I'm just gonna put a few charms around the nail just to make it look a little bit more like extra and glamorous. Cause you guys know, I love that. Like I just love doing too much. That's like my thing, I don't know. I think that's really cute. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for about 30 seconds. All right, so far I really like this. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off with some top coat. And I'm just gonna go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds. Okay, so this nail is done. Um, let's not even worry about like what's going on here. Let's just like ignore that. Anyway, this nail is done and I really like it. Like I did not expect it to look this pretty, but it's beautiful. I love it so much. Anyways, because this took so long, I'm just going to speed through the rest of these nails and I will come back towards the end.
Okay, we are finally, finally done. I've literally been sitting here for like six hours. But anyway, I really love it. Like I think that it is very like interesting and new for me. Like I keep finding myself like getting my nose stuck together because of all these charms, but I really do like it. So the last thing I'm gonna do is just finish this off with some cuticle oil. And that completes today's set. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this one. These nails are absolutely nothing like anything that I've ever done on my channel. And I feel like I literally said this in my last video, but no, these are definitely like nothing like anything I've ever done on my channel before. And it's really moments like these that really make me like super excited and proud to be a part of the nail community because there's so many endless opportunities to inspire and to be inspired. And these nails definitely inspired me to like do something crazy. And I really, really am like here for it, okay? Of course, I would love to hear what you guys think of this nail set down in the comments. I know that this nail set was popular like a month and a half ago, but I really wanted to catch it before the end of August and I'm so glad that I actually finally did it. I have a few more summer sets coming up before the end of August. It'll probably run over into September, but if you are interested in seeing those, definitely do stay tuned. But as always, I wanna say thank you guys so, so much for tuning in today and I will see you guys in the next one.